In this edition, we'll use slightly different techniques. We'll use revolves exclusively and use a small angle to create wedge-shaped knurling on the knob. Then we'll apply a nice blue glass finish to it and render it and wind up with a nice drawer pull. Let's get started. Let's use a slightly different set of traditional modeling techniques to do a drawer pull or a finial or something like that. Let's do ellipsis this time. We'll draw one. Since we know we need two, let's go ahead and do it in the same sketch. And just to make things simple for us, let's go ahead and put a line down the center. Let's go ahead and revolve that center portion. Turn the sketch back on. And instead of extruding, we're going to also revolve this little sliver, and we'll do it symmetrically. Hold it down to select the axis. And instead of 360 degrees, let's do, let's say, if we want 12, let's do 10 degrees and see how that works. You notice that we already have an interesting shape. So let's create a circular pattern. Oops. I didn't unselect join. I want a new body. So let's go back here, double click on that last action, select new body instead of join, and click OK. Now we can go back in and rotate the body and select the axes by holding it down. Oops, holding it down, the left button down, selecting the Z axis. And we want 12. Okay, that's not bad. Now let's roll back the timeline. We will start... You know what? This time I'm going to try something different. Let's fillet these. Oh, that's a little too much. Let's try five. That's... yeah, that's about what I want. Now, I could have left it at join. I mean, I could have left them joined. I'm going to try something here. Let's modify, combine. Let's combine that and that back into the same thing. Should have left it to begin with. And I'm going to fill it this and this. And now I'm going to make a circular array of the entire thing. First, let's go ahead and turn the sketch off. Create pattern, circular pattern, axes. Hold down the left mouse button, select the Z axis. And how many did we want? We wanted 12. Okay. Hey, that's not bad. Let's go ahead and modify, combine. Pick one of them for the tool body or target body. Now select the rest of them for the tool body, leave it at join, click OK. While we're in here, let's turn the sketch back on. Oops, let's go to the right one here. And let's sketch up a little neck or whatever it is for it. Uh, let's do something like, yeah, something like, and another circle down here, maybe a line to connect them, kind of sloppy here. Now let's revolve these, select an axis, 360, and let's apply a little fillet here. And another one here, something like that. Turn the first body back on. Join the two. Modify, combine, select, select, join. OK. Let's come over here and do render. We'll put, let's see, let's do glass. Let's do a quick render and see how that looks. I don't like the way that's looking, so let's see if I can 
So let's modify it a little bit. Okay, that's pretty cool. Well, let's take a quick look around here. That looks kind of like a drawer pull. That's cool. So in just a few minutes, we've created a completely different looking knob using a just a slightly different technique. There's lots of different ways to combine and vary these techniques, and there's at least 10 other different simple techniques that you could use to create similar projects. In our next project, we're going to use something a little more complicated, well, sophisticated. We're going to use lofts on a guide to create very organic shapes. Be sure to check out the Instructable that goes along with this series of videos, and always subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks, and happy making.